Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll explain how to create a virtual network adapter on Windows 11. First, let me explain what creating a virtual network adapter means. A virtual network adapter is a software version of a physical network card. It acts as a real network adapter, allowing your system to connect to networks without using physical hardware. You can use it to simulate multiple network connections, test network settings, set up VPNs, or create virtual environments for development and testing. This method is very useful when you want to test network tools without using real infrastructure, or when you are setting up VPN connections and don't want to affect your primary adapter. There are other useful uses that we will learn about later. Let's begin together by learning step-by-step step how to create a virtual network adapter. First, open Device Manager in your preferred way. Right-click on the Start menu and select Device Manager from the list. Next, select your device name from the top. Then, click Action in the top menu and choose Add Legacy Hardware. The Add Hardware wizard will immediately open. Click the Next button to continue with the steps. In this step, you have two options. Select the second option, install the hardware that I manually select from a list, advanced. This option will allow you to specifically select the network adapter and click next button. Then scroll down and find network adapters, select it and click the next button. Here in this step, wait a little while until the list containing the definitions for the network adapters is loaded. After loading it, select Microsoft from the left side, and on the right side, select Microsoft KM Test Loopback Adapter, or Microsoft Loopback Adapter. Any of them will work. Then click Next. Click Next and wait for the installation to complete, and then click the Finish button. With this step, completes creating the virtual network adapter on your computer. You can close the Device Manager window, navigate to the network adapter, and use it as a real network adapter. You'll now see a new network adapter named Ethernet. This is your new virtual network adapter. You can change its name if you like and treat it as a real network adapter. I'm going to assign an IP address to this new virtual network and I'm going to run a quick test using the ping command. In short, you can treat the new virtual network as a real network adapter and benefit from it. And that's all in today's video. Whether you're a developer, a network administrator, or just someone experimenting with virtual labs or VPN setups, this tool can make your network testing and configuration easier and more flexible. If you found this video useful, don't forget to like and share it with others. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get more useful technical information. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.